um, I feel that um, we are moving so much energy that it would be really good to channel it um, the best way possible and to like um, offer our intentions to the world. So um, yeah, if you want, you can turn off your camera. Um, we will do this exercise with our uh, with our eyes closed. And um, yeah, please take a comfortable position. Relax your body. Um, if you want, you can close your eyes. I will um, guide the meditation. Try to yeah, feel your body. Take a couple of deep breaths. For the people that is joining, we will um, start the meditation and we're right now um, relaxing and uh, taking a couple of deep breaths to connect with, with our body. And um, the first step of the meditation will be to imagine a um, string of light that is connecting your head to your sexual organs, passing through your throat, your chest and your abdomen and it's just um, really stable, connecting um, your head to your body and um, passing energy through all of it. And it's very stable. This um, string becomes um, strong. And now you imagine that in the middle, of the string of light, um, a light bulb uh, turns on and um, starts to glow. To to glow. Um, first, it is it starts really small. It it starts in the center of the string of light that you're imagining, and um, it starts to to glow um, each time brighter and brighter. And it starts um, gathering a lot of energy um, in, in the middle of your chest. And um, then this light starts um, becoming stronger, stronger, so that it, um, it is, it, the light comes out from your body. And this light that is coming out of your body first, um, it irradiates your, your, all of your body and uh, then it continues growing and it starts coming out of your body and irradiating what is around you. So that light bulb that you ignited in the center of your chest, it's every time um, getting more bright and the light is, is um, reaching more, more, more places, more places, and it's extending. So um, right now, this light is so uh, big that um, it, it just um, not only like uh, irradiates where you are, the place where you are, but it starts irradiating um, your house, your city, your country and your continent. Imagine that you are this source of light that is um, sending light to the world and um, try to imagine that, that um, right now um, your point of view is not coming from where you're seated, but um, like from the air and you see that a light um, in the skies and um, w then when, uh, when you are there, you start seeing uh, the light that comes from other people in this meditation. So um, the idea is that we can start connecting with the light that we see coming from other places and um, that we can start um, forming a network of light that uh, extends uh, through all the world 
and that um, network of light, um, yeah, is is covering and is extending over all the world. And we start feeling connected. We are not um, alone, but we are merged with the light of the other people that is in, in the same space. And now um, you can try to keep silent in your mind and take a couple of breaths, feeling this connection with you, with the world and with the people that, w that we are uh, right now. Now, um, this network of light is becoming stable and it looks like a solid gold blanket covering the world. And this is the love and the good intentions that we are sending to the world, that we are connecting with the world and with ourselves. And um, that um, is being an offering of love that comes from us to all the living beings in the world. And um, it, it is, yeah, so stable that it becomes like solid. And you can see it shining and covering the whole world. And when you feel it's solid enough, you can slowly start coming back to your city, to your house, and to your body. But you are now in your body, but you leave the golden network that was created as a shield for the, for the whole world. We created this network of light of, and good intentions to protect the world. But right now we are coming back to where we started, feeling our body and seeing again um, the string of light inside of us. And yeah, that, that energy that was um, really moving and that was really strong now has settled and now is in harmony with ourselves and with our exterior. So when you feel comfortable, you can take a little bit of um, deep breaths again and um, you can open your eyes again when you feel comfortable. And um, I will also say um, the four words that I love that are, I love you, I'm sorry, forgive me, and thank you. Okay, um, I hope everyone liked the meditation. It, it, it had a lot of imagination in it, but yeah, the idea was to connect, to make an offering in this moment that um, we are um, launching an organization and an economy that wants to do a good for the world. So yeah, we are um, trying to connect our intentions and put them in harmony with the world and offer them um, to the world connecting with each other. So yeah, that, that was the exercise. And I loved it. I, and I feel like I am really hot in, in my hands and like I am sweating. But um, yeah, I hope that um, it, ha it um, like produce 
um, different um, reactions within yourself and within your body. And well, um, after this moment, um, I will um, ground the call again to to gravity and to um, um, the purpose of yeah um, continuing to coordinate and to collaborate around this idea of conflict management. So um, I will start sharing my screen. Um, if you want the meditation, I wrote it in the Gravity Working Group call notes. The document is in this uh, Gravity uh, chat channel. And yeah, um, I was following this this um, text um, as I was doing the meditation. So yeah, anyone, if you want to repeat this meditation again, you can you can do it. And um, the first topic for today's call. Um, is uh, a doodle for the Graviton training that um, we are sure that we're going to start in September, but um, we still don't know um, the exact dates and the exact um, hour that would be best for all of us. So yes, um, I am um, placing um, these three schedules on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. So the one that you think that suits the best for you, you can please um, fill this form um, so that we can choose um, the best moment to have our gravity calls and our gravity graviton training starting in, in September. But um, I also want to open the mic if anyone wants to say something about um, um, how did you feel in the meditation or what did you feel or um yeah something you you would like to say in this moment okay yeah i feel i feel very relaxed thank you Juan. thank you septi okay yeah we we were like oh super rushed because of the hatch and now we are like really calmed and we channeled that energy into into yeah into an offering and in, into ourselves so yeah um okay the the second topic that um i wanted to talk about in this in this call um after the the doodle i hope that um some of you can can feel it please and um, the the second um, topic was to talk about the the second graviton training study plan. It is like a, a very raw draft, but um, uh, the the idea yeah, is to is to um, have ten sessions um, of this graviton training and to have three or four workshops in, um, divided in the ten sessions. Um, to start the 13th, the 14th, or the 15th of September, depending the, on the on the results of the doodle. And um, yeah, the tentative hours of the call are after SoftCop on Tuesdays, before the TEC AMAs on Wednesday, or two hours before the community call on Thursday. So um, yeah, the idea is to find a, a, a friendly schedule for all of us. And um, for, for this Graviton training, we, um, until this moment, have five facilitators that are Livia, Durgadas, uh, Didan, Mount Manu, and me. So, um, yeah, um, if anyone wants to jump into this um, study plan, you can please, um, yeah, uh, help us to organize the information, to select some readings, if, if you feel that you have some topic that you want to include into the training and that you feel comfortable talking about, um, please, um, you can reach out to me because um, the idea is not to have the same static Graviton training one uh, like every time, 
but like also al always continue um, having uh, a continued education, not only for old gravitons, but um, and not not only for new gravitons, but also for old gravitons. And um, yeah, it, it's still not organized like the sessions, like what what would would start first and what would come next. I think um, that's something that we can um, continue doing. But um, here there are some of um, the old content that we used and also some new content. But um, yeah, um, if also uh, and especially um, the the facilitators, um, you can continue having access to this um, to this document. Um, yeah, to continue polishing. Um, the content that we are going to use, and um, yeah, I also want to um, take um, the the opportunity of going to HCC also to to promote um, participation of other communities um, into this graviton training. Uh, so it would be really good um, that um, after the second graviton training we can uh, have um, coordination with with um, with other communities. And um, I will share some fastly some of the topics that um, are here right now. Uh, so so you are like um, aware and also um, that if you feel that something is missing or, or you we want or we can complement something, that would be great. Um, Livia, I took the liberty to, to, to design um, this, um, like to select some, some readings, like Ostrom. Um, I also feel that it's important to, to share um, um, the work that we have do been doing in the Gitbook. Um, I also love this video that, uh, this workshop that yeah, you did around uh, exploring polycentric governance in Web3 ecosystems. So I hope that we can uh, um, um, have with you a session around SoftGov and Ostrom's principles and Web3 governance. Do you feel comfortable with this? Yeah, yeah, thank you, Juan. That's great. I can also add a few more things there and we can chat about it also. Okay, perfect. Yeah, um, it, it would be good also if we can design a workshop and some questions for e evaluation and claiming the POAP. Yeah, the POAP is also a, a to do something that we have to do, but um, that's like, yeah, one day being very organized and like creating them. Um, I think Durgadas is not in this call, but um, I, I took from him, um, yeah, the decolonization talk he did on in gravity. And uh, this video that he always quotes, um, yeah, that, that is about the, the two interpretations that we have in our brain of the world and how we can control our emotions by controlling our, our thinking, our thinkings. Yeah, and I hope that, that he can, um, I will sing with him to, 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 um, like uh, prepare better this 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 um, material of of study because I know that he's like ready but um, it's always important to to facilitate the access of information to to um, the students. Um, I also see that Didan is not here, but. Um, I I I thought I I was thinking that um he he and I chat with him that um he could lead um a session around nonviolent communication, starting with um yeah a summary of Marshall Rosenberg, um this exercise that he did um around um around dishing praise with the NBC model I I think I I think it it, it was great. Um, also a video of, of um, mindful approach to NBC and uh, he, he, he designed this workshop that I really liked. Um, I think it, it, it can be like um, 
updated because it, it used um, some of the praise. But I liked the idea of taking a phrase and using NVC to transform it because, yeah, sometimes people say like, okay, I understand NVC, but I don't know how to use it. And, and yeah, sometimes we think that NVC is just for expressing ourselves, but also NVC is for understanding others. So, so um, this is a very practical exercise that, that we can use to, to recognize our, our feelings and our needs and to use them to, to, express, um, to express ourselves. Um, Manu, do you want to, to talk up about um, the topics that, that you would like to, to, to add to, to this um, training? Or if you want, I can give you a little bit more time. Yeah. Yeah, I can. I can talk briefly about them. Um, I'm still. Uh, I mean, depending if if I do one session or two, um, because uh, I think it's really useful and um, valuable to how sort of like a, like an understanding of, of logic and particular like Socratic logic and, and how you get to, how you start from a premise and then uh, build on an argument. I think understanding that uh, in terms of graviton training would be useful in terms of um, analyzing uh, both, uh, both parties' uh, point of view and their arguments, dissecting them and then saying, well, this is like a value judgment. This is based on reality. This is uh, this is something that uh, that is that concerns the real. This is something that concerns something that's preferable. And uh, I see it a, 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 as like a foundation. And and I mean, from Socratic logic, you get to to the new rhetoric, which deals with uh, a way of. Uh, argumentation that is not only persuasion but but you know effective communication getting at the getting at the uh, the juice of the argument at, at, at what's actually actually real and not just ideology and then framing is also very important because um, it's it's I mean it, it, it's something key and critical in, in terms of um, controlling the conversation I mean the graviton needs to be the leader of the conversation and when both people um, are um, conveying a frame that is counterproductive, uh, the graviton should be or ought to be the one who knows better and who changes that frame uh, of the conversation into something that is going to resolve the conflict and, 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 and uh, uh, solve the issue. So that's how I, I see it, like the progression. Just Socratic logic is just the way you do critical thinking, um, the way you communicate it. Uh, new rhetoric is, is how you use Socratic logic in terms of argumentation. And then framing it would be, you know, uh, the, the application of both of those things into a negotiation and, and into peacemaking. So that's uh, roughly how I'm, how I'm seeing it. Uh, perhaps it would be useful to maybe put my sessions at the beginning uh, just because I see, I, I see Livia's topics and maybe your topics as, as really, um, really leveraging, uh, you know, an understanding or, or a knowledge of, of logic, critical thinking, rhetoric and, and framing into more specific things in terms of DAO and, and cultural build and and so on. So that's that's the way I'm conceptualizing it so far. Maybe one's internet went up. Can you hear us? 
Ah, no, it, it was me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That. Uh, yeah, we're we're going to have ten sessions, and um, I love the, those topics, Manu. So feel free to uh, add resources here. And uh, yeah, if 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 you want to have two sessions and you feel like um, you can cover them, you yeah, it would be great because right now, um, Libby has one session, Didan has one session, Durgadas has two sessions. Um, you would have two sessions; those are six, and I would have four sessions. So I think that would be like a perfect distribution. <laughs> and um, yeah, the the topics that I would like to, to, to have are, um, yeah, to, to go a, a little bit over the first Graviton study plan and, um, yeah, to share the Gravity input form also um, to encourage other communities to make a form like this. Um, I, I, I always say that um, uh, it's not necessary to have just one type form, that uh, each community could have each its own type form because um, that's the idea to have like internal management. So yeah, and the importance of having this um, entry form. Also, um, I would like to encourage all of the um, gravitons and uh, the the students to fill the 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 gravity type form, the gravity survey, because um, yeah, if we are going to have people from other communities. That would be like the best um, um, people to to give us this information about about what are the needs related to conflict management in DAOs. So um, it would be really great to encourage all, all the gravitons uh, or to be to to and all the people participating in the training to to fill this this survey so that we can yeah. Um, identify what are the feelings that people relate to um, conflict when, 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 when it arises in their community. And if um, there are easy access tools for solving conflict in communities, um, that uh, if that access of conflict management process influences the senses of well-being, what is needed to trust in a conflict management process, how would you prefer to com to to communicate? Yeah, th this is a little bit more long than than the gravity type form, but um, it, it's the data that that we want to analyze to 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 identify the the needs and to improve our processes. Also, um, to share the the scale of conflict that that we designed. St starting from small conflict, mid-scale conflict, big-scale conflict, and the suggested actions. But um, this is also like a frame for, for other communities to do the same. It's not necessary to like have the same um, scale of conflict for, for all communities, because all communities are different. But uh, it's important to know that um, while designing the rules and boundaries, um, this is something um, that that it's very like useful when when a conflict arises and there is subjectivities around it uh, to have like this um, objective source of truth that says what is able and what is not able to do in the community. Um, also, um, to share the the steps of the gravity um, process. Uh, alternative dispute resolution process that that, that we are um, trying to 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 promote. Um, I want to praise um, Acid Laser because we had this first um, like um, four step um, image, but it was like done in paint, and he like um, made this beautiful artwork um, where we start with the identification of cases. Uh, then we do the screening of the dispute. Then we condu conduct the ADR process, and we have um, a, a post mediation administration and um, um, the responsibilities that are acquired by the parties. So yeah, I also hope, and I I, I have talked with him that we can improve and use um, this in our artwork. Uh, with other processes that we have that are like really um, not so beautiful, 
like like um the the process um of of how a conflict um when it's um identified first passes through an internal management layer if it's needed it's it goes to an external management layer but um during within the the internal management layer the, there are suggested actions to to like um treat that that situation and also that um, after the conflict, there should be like an insight and a review of the actions that were taken so that we can implement that um, insight um, with new conflicts that, that may arise because it's a cy cyclic process. Um, so also to share what means to be a graviton because um, gravitons have um, additional exigences like a voluntar, voluntary process, self-determination, conflict of interest, confidentiality, impartiality, professional responsibility. I know this is very hard, like being impartial is very hard because we always have our, our own positions, but it's like um, a, a, an effort we have to do to, 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 to be in the position of easing um, communication. And professional responsibility, because um, yeah, when when we are mediating, we are not only being uh, like um, like a regular person. We are we are we are also representing um, the 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 community and um, gravity as 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 yeah as as, as a project that um, helps that tries to help on on this purpose. And uh, yeah, so, some of the other um, um, content that we used for this first training, like um, Lederas, the little book of conflict transformation, where it talks about what is a conflict transformational platform. That is, um, yeah, long, short term responsive and long term strategic. Uh, yeah, this one. Yeah. Um, also, um, the, the book of Antifragile, I love this video of, of William Uri explaining what uh, the bridge, balcony and third part that um, are like um, these um, steps to build a bridge within negotiation. Uh, this is a manual that I have been using to design all the steps of gravity that is a, a, a guide for practitioners on establishing and managing ADR centers. So it's like an alternative dispute resolution center manual. And like the, 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 the registry that we have designed and, and some of yeah, the, the processes have been taken from this document that is very long, but, um, and it's a little bit technical, but yeah, it's a great document. Um, where we can take a lot of information. Uh, it's not loading, sorry. Uh, but yeah, the, there they say like, what are the, 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 the needs of a center of dispute resolution? Um, how, how are the processes? Yeah, what are the steps? And um, I, I want to repeat the power screen case workshop that we had in the first um, Graviton training, because I, I think that went really well and we had a lot of information and and like um a lot of of support from from like um yeah um a very organized case because the last activity that we did in the in the graviton training i think like like it was fun but um it it could have been like better organized because like i made it from my mind and i think that yeah, it, it would be better to use in this case something that has like a little bit more detail and professionality. So um, you know uh, the 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 people that did the first graviton training know what what um, this case was about, and it's uh, it was about yeah the 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 executive of, of a company and um, the developer of that company. So it's it's also a conflict that um, is very related to our technologic environment. So it's 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 good um, for 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 the training. 
w what do you think about it? Um, we we should like continue polishing it, but th this is like the first um, raw idea, and and yeah, we will continue working on this um, to to make like a a really good um, like final document and and that that is easy for people to understand and and for people to feel comfortable like studying it. So well, yeah, that that's the idea. That's the the second training, and the idea is that um, after um, um, the training, we deliver pops. The people that have like I don't know six pops. That's all, all, also the thing that we should like decide what what would be the required amount of pops to become a graviton. Um, but. Uh, yeah, that that's that's the idea to have ten sessions. If we have ten sessions, we will we will final finalize um, mid November. So I was thinking that we could um, do like a a review of the training and of the of the of the training and of the third roadmap in December. Yeah, to to review the the training and also to review the third roadmap, and um, the 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 third point of our agenda is that we end we finalized our second roadmap of gravity, and um, I want to like design the third roadmap. We did a little bit of this last call, but um, I added some points. Um, this is something that 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 we take from the second roadmap that was not so well done that is creating a framework for conflict that um that um references the most common types of conflict in in decentralized organizations and a guide for first interaction for gravitons like um how to handle situations um like what what is the first step when 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 yeah when you are invited to 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 participate facilitating a, a, a communication in a situation um, yeah how, how how to approach parties that 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 would be like really useful for people who is not so much used to mediate um, improve the the uh, process design and comms strategies this is um, what I want to like uh, really improve with with uh, acid laser and with durgadas so that we can like yeah um promote gravity um in in diverse events um continue collecting information for the survey during the training and other events um as i told in etcc i want to like encourage people to know what gravity is and to um foster curiosity around the training and um also during the training to 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 continue collecting information for the survey um the to have the second graviton training um aiming to have 20 plus gravitons from at least three communities i yeah i i think three or four communities that would be really great we st need to also look for extra funding options like joint ventures with other DAOs with other projects maybe uh -oh. we can make uh, a gitcoin grant for for gravity and yeah continue uh, making DAO collaborations also um it would be good if we can initialize um the the DAO discussions like how to implement ostrom and the commons framework to gravity like to do the same process that we did in the tc having the 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 aid of the application of the aid of strong principles into into the idea of the gravity DAO and con and design continuous education spaces yeah. for gravitons because like right now it's just like this base basic course like when you pass it okay you become a graviton but there's not like continuous educations for gravitons and sometimes we learn something but if we don't practice it we like um, forget it or, or, or yeah, or we heard and studied something one time, but then like to, to polish or to improve our skills, we need to some training, more training. 
So yeah, um, we need to continue designing um, education spaces for gravitons to like improve their skills. Also, people who is just like um, taking his their first steps, it would be good for them to like yeah um, have not only one step but like a ladder for them to to like continue growing in this. And yeah, the the review of the training of, of the third roadmap. Be, would be proposed to be in December. Um, I would add this third roadmap to to our manifesto. But yeah, I, I want to know what do you think about it. If you think um, there's something that yeah, that could be added, um, yeah. I I think for for extra funding, uh, perhaps like like selling a course, just like there's graviton, just like there's graviton training. Perhaps if we like. Uh, uh standardize the whole training and just like recorded it and, and just pimped out the video or something we can just sell it so that it scales um i don't know that, that that's just something out of the top of my, my head uh that's the way i mean from working business and marketing that that's the way they they monetize what we're doing we're providing education and 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 there's knowledge that we have that it's valuable what we do is we like, uh, itemize it and, and, and sell it uh, to, I mean, adapt it to like DAOs, right? Uh, adapt it to like a DAO environment. And perhaps that would be something that, that could uh, generate some revenue for us. Yeah, actually Durgas shared this with me. Like, um, yeah, we, we can make these kind of courses yeah, that, that uh, we could like, yeah, make oh, like sure. targeting to DAOs, but like, yeah, ha having different type of, co of like courses specific courses like introduction to conflict resolution like yeah conflict escalation yeah but this is like only like yeah uh a reference that, that's exactly what I'm thinking, yeah. that type of that type of like uh platform yeah it, we have like a lot of documents um and a lot of information that we have been doing in the past but now we need to like um polish a lot of things that were that had like pointy edges so that um, we can like yeah continue shaping the, this project into something that that can scale okay okay that that's that those were the topics that I wanted to cover today but um yeah if uh we have some time left so if um you want to um take the mic to talk about other thing or to complement what we have been talking about um please feel free to do so if not um we could also uh, end a little bit early today oh yeah we can make like a a, a quick round that we didn't make a question today how are you feeling how are you feeling around the hatch what are your feelings around the hatch i can start and i i feel like um super motivated i feel relaxed my only concern is is like traveling to france crossing the border but besides that everything is is okay and i feel very grateful with all the people in this organization because i feel that um this last year i have grown a lot and i have learned a lot from Livy, do you want to to say something sure yeah um yeah thanks for starting to organize the the training and i'm sure we'll have a lot of time to chat about that in person i'm also excited about that and uh to meet most of you and also getting like final things ready to travel tomorrow um i'm feeling great super excited about the hatch super curious about how it's gonna go i keep checking like every <laughs> every five minutes and see how it's doing uh yeah very proud of of everyone who worked in this process and it's finally happening 
it's unbelievable <laughs> a year later and we're here and today's the day it feels amazing uh and i'll pass to chewy thank you Lily. uh yes i'm very very excited for uh the graviton uh, training as well like i've been for for some months like looking forward to this opportunity and uh to uh, how I'm gonna be able to like integrate better with the whole program. So I'm very excited for this. Regarding the hatch, I just realized that it's gonna be very difficult to stop watching that thing in the next 30 days. I just, I mean, it was like predictable, but like right now it's just like, I, I just like, it, it just like fell like, oh, and then, oh, damn it. So I don't know, maybe uh, someone can come up with like, a, like a mobile widget or something like that just to keep it uh to keep monitoring it uh but uh mm -hmm. yes it's it's uh it's it's I'm, I'm very very happy for the community i i i love the the uh the atmosphere of like a uh, uh, renewal of commitments and in into like believe in each other as a community and i just i just love it uh i love uh the the new stuff that uh it brings on board so uh yeah i'm 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 just happy it's a it's a great day it's a very memorable day uh i'll pass it to christopher thank you and uh, thank you Juanca, for 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 a fantastic uh, uh meditation and uh um super exciting plan for the graviton Training. It looks. Uh, uh, it, it looks fantastic. Um, I'm also super excited about next steps, moving from the, uh, the, the the pressure before the hatch to to what what happens what happens next when we move into a more more sort of generative phase or after the commons upgrade. What what happens then? Um, super excited by by moving moving to next steps. Uh, and I'll, I'll pass it to Mount Thanks. Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm excited to, to, uh, to see, um, actually I'm excited to, to do all of your work while you while all of you are in Paris and I'm staying here, I'll, I'll be the one, you know, doing all the coordination that uh the things that usually all of you are going to do but you're going to be you know uh trying to get backers and 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 mingling in paris so i'm um, looking forward to that and uh, uh i don't know that, that's it i'll pass it to lauren <laughs> hey um yeah i'm excited that we hatched this is a nice thing i'm sad because i'm not coming to paris that's not a nice thing, but I'm managing the, the feelings. I just, it's a weird day. I'm having a weird day. Um, but yeah, thanks Wonka for the beautiful meditation. It was really grounding and it was super nice just to like kind of connect to self and connect to everybody and just like connect to everybody, you know? Um, so I really appreciate it. Um, I'll pass it to Bye Bye Beach. I'm excited to see what happens next and how we uh, evolve. And uh, I'm excited to see more what more gravity does. And uh, like in the future, I'd like to attend more gravity calls. I think I, like this time slot is hard to hard for me to come at, but I'll try and make time for more gravity calls because these are always interesting. And by the way, since Chewie mentioned, I think we could like uh maybe set up something to show that uh alert on uh the hatch status on discord if you want you could do that i think uh like the price was on one half and i'll pass it to katie thank you um lauren what did you just say you're not going yeah, I'm not going. Oh, okay. Well, okay. I was having 
good vibes, but that's not good vibes. But it is. It can be good. It's good for what it is. Um, yeah, so feeling good about the hatch, super exciting, and also the Graviton training. I look forward to participating in that. I submitted my doodle. Um, I need, I'm, I'm working on the wrapped X die, and I'm totally, well, I don't say I'm lost, but I definitely need help. Um, because I don't understand a couple of steps, so I don't know if. <laughs> Somebody can walk me through. Uh, Grab that guidebook. Oh yeah, that's why Nate. I was gonna just like ask you if I could just talk to you after this call. No, I've read. I've read it. I've I've followed the steps. Something's missing. I don't have any <laughs> stuff. Everybody says oh. I'm supposed to already have it because of the CSTK. Like I should have it somewhere floating around. I don't see it. Anyway, whatever. I can help you. We can talk after the call. Oh, thanks. Okay, super. Thank you. So woohoo, all's great. I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm very sad that I have to miss the 24th thing. I didn't realize that TC was going to be hanging out. So as you know, or some of you know, like I live just on the outside of Paris, but I am flying to America on the 23rd. So I'll be there for the ECC, but I won't be there afterwards. Um, so all's good. So who do we got? This uh, Zepti, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Suga. Yeah, I'm excited for the hatch, uh, but what I'm more excited is like for the common upgrade, like see like the parameters, learn them, and yeah, like the hatch was one thing, but the common upgrade is going to be a huge. It's going to be huge. And yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm super happy like meeting all these people in real life, and I feel like after this call we are going to go eat somewhere, so having fun and yeah, super happy. And I'll pass it to Nate. Yeah, um, I'm. I haven't even thought about the hatch to be honest with you. I it's not something that's going to be on my mind. I'm not going to look at it until probably you know ten days before the close of the hatch. I have been nonstop thinking about what happens after. I'm kind of with Christopher on that one where I'm just like, all right, now we have, you know, we've been prepping for this moment and now now that we've achieved it, what do we do now? And just being like, let's hit the ground running and 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 see what we can do with this this DAO, this commons. And uh yeah, to me that's the most exciting part of it. It's just seeing it and just putting it everything that we're doing into the context of what we're trying to accomplish. And so uh that's huge for me, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so I uh, just wanted to say thank you for, for all the work that you're doing in Gravity One. It's really awesome. I can't wait to see the Gravity DAO and, and, and see what all the uh, all the Gravitons that end up being trained throughout this program, which is going to be really cool. Hopefully, you'll see them all pop up into all these different types of DAOs. So yeah, and uh, Katie, if whatever you're missing out of that Hatcher Handbook, please let me know because I want to update it to accommodate for that missed misunderstanding. So. And I will pass it to back to Griff or Juan. Who's next? Griff, yeah, the one, the one missing. Uh, you guys always pick me last. Are you guys scared to pass it to me? Come on. Uh, I, uh, I'm super excited about the hatch. I obviously, I don't know. Uh, I'm a little worried that we're gonna like be disappointed in the first couple of weeks when there's not that much funds in it, you know, and like lower expectations. That it's like it doesn't. You know, and that most of the people will probably put in their money at the very end of the hatch. Uh, and it's like, we might not even get to the minimum goal until just a few days before. Uh, but then my expectation is that it's going to go wild in the last few days, you know? So uh, I just want to make sure that, you know, we're not like looking for this bot and like, come on, where's my ding, you know? Because uh, it just, it might be a little slow. And... Uh, yeah, and then, of course, I'm super excited about what comes after. But, yeah, I guess, I guess I'm guess i really just excited to watch the th how things evolve around all the little things, you know? The praise, the, like, the praise process that was just out there with, like, no one even... I don't know, it's, I don't know if people even care about impact hours anymore, which is funny. But it's gonna, I'm, I'm really curious to see how, how people interact with the, the, the impact hours and how praise evolves uh, with source cred and that, that whole system and how we're going to reward contributors after this. And of course, like getting the prepping stages for, uh, 
for every working group to actually request fundings and start doing real DAO operations. Uh, with a real DAO, we've been doing so much without a DAO. I guess it's, it's amazing how DAO y we've been without anything on chain until this time. Crazy. It's really crazy. So uh, it's, it's uh, super cool to see, see how everything, just like, just like almost an ethnography kind of perspective, where it's like, how is this going to all work out? Uh, but yeah, thank you, Wonka, again for the great meditation. Uh, I couldn't agree more with everybody. It was really nice to take a second and breathe into the light. Uh, but yeah, back to you, man. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining. I hope you have a good night or a good day, wherever you, uh, your time zone is. And yeah, a big hug and thank you and see you in this in this next couple of days. Thanks, Walt. Thank